Well, good evening. Welcome to another North Wales side by side video. It's time for a beer. I'm in here with a new toy. Some of you are probably wondering why has there been no YXE footage. The reason is I've sold the YXE. I uh, had to let it go. Wasn't broken, wasn't damaged, hadn't been crashed, hadn't blown up. With my wrist injury, I was struggling to change gear. So I thought, I'm not doing this thing any favours, just tooting it around little country lanes, not off-roading it. Wasn't using it for its purpose. So I decided to let it go. But it left. A massive hole in the workshop and no project so I've been actively seeking another project so we can get some content together so we can carry on making videos for you for entertainment and some education and I wanted a TJ Wrangler I couldn't find a decent one anywhere so I lowered my aspirations and started looking at other 4x4s and one in particular caught my eye it's a vehicle I know well anyhow because I've worked on lots and lots of them over the years but they're getting few and far between in very good condition most of them have just rotted away most of them are in scrapyards now been broken or they've been so seriously modified they don't really look like what they started life as. I have found a 2001, 21 year old, registered October 2000, one owner till 2017 when sadly he passed away. So we owned that car for 16, this car for 16 years. His wife then put the paperwork in her name up until she passed away in 2022. And in that time period, it was garaged. It was never used. She never drove it. Son didn't want it when he was clearing the house. Passed it on to a trader in North Wales because it came from Swindon. Like I say, I've been actively seeking one of these vehicles. And it's uh, on Monday, I actually went about 50 miles from my home to go and have a look at one on Monday evening. And it was, it was in good condition. Very, very good condition. And I said I'd, I'd come back to him the following day with a decision and an offer. I didn't get home till about two o'clock in the morning after travelling back after looking at this vehicle. Jumped straight back onto Facebook Marketplace and eBay and went nearest first. But the first one that popped up was 10 miles down the road from where I live. So I went out on Tuesday afternoon to get fuel for my other car, my daily, my Toto Yaris. And I rang him up and I says, is it available to come and have a viewing? And he says, yes, told me where he was. Went down, had a look. Drove into his yard. And it looked very, very clean. On the top. So I got a torch out. Took the key off him. Popped the bonnet. Checked all the fluids. And I could see straight away just looking under the bonnet. This was a... Under the bonnet was clean, the engine was clean, no oil leaks, just road grime on it. Years and years of road grime. It had all been waxed under the bonnet, so the road grime had just stuck to the wax. So I fired it up, satisfied all the fluids were good. And it sounded like a little sewing machine, it was so sweet. So I'll grovel underneath, have a good look at the chassis, 
what little bit of corrosion is on the chassis is only from stones that have hit the chassis and taken the um, the coating off the chassis and it's literally just surface rust there is no major pitting there's no rust holes nothing it is genuinely clean let me introduce you to my Suzuki Jimny that I've bought it's a bit dark and a bit tight in here but I have shot a walk around video which I'll post after this this is the condition I found this vehicle in really really clean We've got to remember, this is a 21 year old engine bay. Excuse the um, zip ties holding the battery on, because the battery that was on it, when I tested it, it would start it and run it, but it wasn't very good. So I've just thrown a, a bigger battery on it, which now means the battery clamp doesn't fit. So I've got to make another battery clamp. But that's easy enough to do. Yep. It is genuinely a clean engine bay. I picked it up Wednesday. Today's Thursday evening. Bought it home. Give it a wash. Then opened the bonnet and I nailed everything under this engine bay with traffic film remover left that sitting and this is what you find after you've removed all the uh, tfr and it's eaten all the dirt and the wax away and absolutely spotless engine bay i'm in here tonight because because i want to start with this car on a level playing field they told me it had been serviced, and yes, it has, has been serviced, new oil filter plugs, oil and oil filter. But I'm really fussy about fluids and oils and stuff. So this evening I've drained the engine oil, took the oil filter off, put another oil filter on, and filled it with 540 fully synthetic engine oil. And I've just started dressing the engine. That's why it looks so clean and shiny. I'm, I'm slowly, slowly cleaning everything. Anyhow, let's jump now. I've now I've introduced you to the new project. And if you don't believe it's 21 years old. It's on a 51 plate. October 2001 registered. Let's now jump to the walk around video that I did earlier today and you'll get a really good idea about how clean and how tidy this Suzuki Jimny is as if by magic this is the new project a 2001 one owner Suzuki Jimny 65 and a half thousand miles been off the road since 2017 passed its MOT the other day with two advisories headlamp aim too high and on the rear here we've got a cracked lens and then with the two advisories She's very, very, very clean. Excuse the zip ties on the battery. 
that isn't the correct battery it's too tall and I can't get the battery clamp to uh, clamp down it's just a battery I had lying around so I'm going to make some more rods for the battery clamp so I can use that bigger battery when I got it the entire engine bay looked like that just genuine road grime covered in crap and I've given her a, a, a bit of a clean under the bonnet and you can see how clean she's come up it's got a few little age related marks on it but for a 21 year old car this is a proper survivor bottoms of the doors everything is just so clean the interior I've thrown some car mats in because these carpets are so good so so clean tailgate bottom of the tailgate no rust at all even down in all the corners this thing is a proper Survivor. Even the driver's side. Just clean. Everywhere is just clean. Again, bottoms of the door. Just there's just no rust. On the chassis underneath you've just got a few little bits of rust where stones have hit it the worst of it is that there where the stones have come off the back tire underneath This is the preservation of this car. So even a car with a reputation for rusting can be kept in very, very good condition. If you're willing to put the time in and keep them clean. I'm really really pleased with this little find really really happy with it let's fire her up and you can have a listen This is the M13 engine, this is the double overhead cam with variable cam timing where the single overhead cam doesn't have the cam timing and from what research I've done because this engine is in this car makes this one a Japanese built um, Suzuki Jimny not a Spanish built one by uh, Santana all the rag tops the ones that have got the soft top are all built in Spain 
and they didn't get that engine until 2005. So this is my project for the next couple of months. Let me know if you think I should just take it back to factory stock, sort all the little areas that are just beginning to go rusty, but there's no serious corrosion anywhere, it's just surface rust. Or should I give it a lift, put some more aggressive tyres on it, and turn it into a proper little off-roader? Send me a comment, tell me what you think. Preserve it for another 25 years, or modify it and turn it into a fucking green lane machine. I'm milking on the side of preservation, maybe a two inch lift, get another set of wheels and tyres with some more aggressive tyres on it, enjoy it on the more mild green lanes, but be able to put it back onto the road tyres to use it. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Click like if you like this type of video. Please consider subscribing because this is going to be a rolling project because it's on the road and it's driving so all the work can be done while I am using the car. So it's a rolling restoration or a rolling modification, whichever one I choose to do. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.